Hi! On today's episode of the Penultimate Welch, we are going to visit one, no wait, two, yeah, two starter pens known as the Pilot Metropolitan and the Pilot Cocoon. Nope, nope, definitely not the same. This is the Steel Blue Pilot Cocoon pen. Comes in a variety of colors. It's a great starter pen for the individual who yeah, may not have a lot of experience on fountain pens. This is a fantastic pen. But one thing you need to realize is that Japan sends America other things. And sometimes you get you get the good stuff from Japan. And I'll explain that again in this video. So this is the Pilot Cocoon. Not available here in the States. But if you go to eBay or um, other retailers, they'll have it. They'll, they'll have it available. That's where I got this pen. So, um, you know, it, it's, not a, it's not a screw cap. It is a friction fit. And the this is what the pen looks like it's a great everyday writer in terms of getting started in the fountain pen world so much you can learn from this one pen in fact wait a minute my fault so much you can learn from these two pens okay so let's go just on the cocoon right now we're gonna go on that the differences in the cocoon are not a lot but there they are something first off the cocoon pens are more of the um, straight colors, okay? They have them in all kinds, of, all kinds of varieties. This one here is the blue. You go to their website; they'll have all kinds. They have this smooth surface here, and then sort of a satin finish here on the barrel. In order to fill the pen, on any fountain pen, you're going to need to fill it somehow. It unscrews to reveal this a cartridge converter. In this case it's Pilot. It's Pilot's brand of a cartridge converter and Pilot has a proprietary uh, cartridge. So you have to buy their thing in order to fit it in their pens. So that's what we have here. And as you can see I already have it filled but uh, it, it, it's ready to go. Um, and and it, it screws. Now, now it, it you know, it, it works the way a cartridge converter works. It's You screw the siphon down and, and that's how it works. Now, that is, that and the nib, which I'm going to show some close-up pictures in the video, are the two main differences. The nibs all on the Pilot Metropolitan and the Pilot Cocoon all come in a variety of, of um, nib sizes. They are stainless steel. They come in fine medium and I believe yeah one millimeter stub so those are those are the main uh, similarities but even the nib on the Pilot Cocoon is different than the nib on the Pilot Metropolitan in terms of its etchings okay so the nib and the cartridge converter those are the two things that are vastly different between the, between the cocoon and the Metropolitan. Now, here's the Metropolitan. Now, I believe that this is more... Okay, first off, this is the box. You notice how the cocoon box and the Pilot Metropolitan box, very different. This is so simple, so... Blech, I don't know, blah, you know? And this is so... Well, it, it's cocoonish. It goes with the idea of a cocoon. It's a cylindrical shape. It's a friction fit snap. It's well thought out of, and unfortunately not available here in uh, to American distributors. But anyway, okay, so here's the Metropolitan. It has a black, uh, I believe it's called a black crocodile print. Uh, it's very nice. It, of course, it says Pilot Japan. That's where the Pilot comes from. And you open it. It's, again, a friction fit cap. I have no no issues at all with the um, clip. has a good has a good spring to it. But again, the etchings on the nib are different. So 
when you go to look at the Pilot Metropolitan versus the Pilot Cocoon, the two differences in the pen itself are the etchings that are on the nib and the, convert, the, the, the way the filling system, the mechanisms that it fills with. It's all Pilot uh, parts. It's just a little different. The Pilot Metropolitan comes with this, I believe, I, yeah, it's called a bladder converter. So rather than having something that you can, you can twist in order to fill the cartridge, you now have a bladder. And the way this works is you squeeze it, and when you, when you release from the squeeze, it causes a vacuum to, f to fill the void. And when that void is filled, it's filled with ink. So that's the way the bladder works. Do I like this? No, no, I can't say I do. I find this rather annoying. Uh, I don't feel like it fills the same amount as the cartridge converter. And it doesn't seem as simple as a cartridge converter. So those are the differences. Now, I mean, I'm welcome to feedback. I mean, I know you can buy the Con 20 and the Con 50, and you can put it on there. But when this little pen here, this starter pen, costs about, I think, I think $20, $20, you can get it for, you know, $20 to $25 retail, and then you have to buy the cartridge converter on top of it, which costs another $5, you start adding up the money, and I just feel like sometimes that's a, a little bit of a, I don't know, for lack of a better word, a ripoff. Um, now that's that's the uh, the main ideas. Now I've seen a few videos online where they've said that the cocoon is actually heavier than the uh, metropolitan, and that may be. Um, in fact, I think it is. You know, by like point, like 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 a tenth or maybe even a hundredth of an ounce. I mean, it's not that big a deal. But um, the difference is, is is in the innards, I believe. So, are these good starter pens? They're fantastic. They really are. They're a good start for anybody to get started with a fountain pen. Um, would I choose the Metropolitan or the Cocoon? I'd have to say I'd choose the Cocoon. I like it. I like it better um, than the Metropolitan. But hey, some people don't like the simple. Uh, they like they like the pattern prints on here, and you know they're 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 okay with that. I'm I'm not a big pattern print guy. I'm more of a solid, uh, <laughs> a solid color. And come to think of it, I mean, look at my sweater. You know, it's solid. So I don't know. I didn't I didn't choose that. That was actually coincidental. Um, our next segment is going to be me writing with it. today's episode, the battle between the Cocoon and the Metropolitan. Who really wins? You decide. This is the penultimate Welch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, we seriously need you to subscribe and like us and share the snot out of us. Thanks. Thanks.